Now joined by head coach Russ Turner. Again, the final tonight here at the Brett Event Center. 75 to 60. You see Irvine back in the win column, improving to 15 and 10 overall, 8 and 3 in league play. Coach, really a grinded out first half here tonight. And you went into the locker room all tied at 29. But then in the second half, Steve and I were just talking about it. It really was an encouraging group effort on both ends. You guys really started to get it rolling offensively. Travis Souza heating up from the outside. Will Davis was consistently good all night. But then defensively, you guys really clamped it down. Yeah, you, yeah what you said, all oh, that's right. And the uh, same thing I think, you know, I'm, I guess I'm relieved. I mean, after what we had, you know, at Riverside, I just didn't feel like that was a, a in-character game for us. Right. Um, and I'm a little bit surprised that, that we allowed that to happen to us. But the way we responded in this performance is what I expected this group. I thought in the first half, you know, we defended well enough to stay in the game while we, you know, when we were really focused on taking care of the ball. I think that we were almost too focused on that right. early in the game because offensively we didn't move the ball at all. It's like we were so worried that they were going to take it from us that we weren't able to function. Um, we got that figured out, and um, I think that's a credit to our team's intelligence um, and the things that we worked on because we did take care of it. And it's not easy to take care of the ball against that team. Right. Uh, that was clearly our emphasis along with what we needed to do defensively. So you're right. It was a good team win. It's one that we're happy to have. It's not an easy one to try to figure out how we're going to get. And uh, we got an equally big game coming up on Saturday. Yeah, quick turnaround with Northridge. And, yeah, total team win. A lot of contributions off the bench. Uh, guys like Jaron Martin, Dominic Dunning played very well. Giannis Dimacopoulos also with some good minutes for you with your front court depth challenge now, uh, obviously with John Ryan out. But, you know, can't not mention Will Davis. He was great again in those 14 rebounds a season high for him. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, it was interesting because in, early in the game, I'm looking at Will, and I'm trying to figure out if he's even out there playing. <laughs> um, and, and Will has gone through that before and been able, unable at times to bring himself out of it. You know, I spoke to him coming off the court in the first half, and I thought he raised his level of play. Right. That's what I challenged him to do. It looked like he was frustrated he wasn't getting the ball, but, you know, sometimes Will makes it so easy to ignore him, um, and he, he's gotten better. You know, the 14 rebounds, I think, uh, really speaks to the, the effort that he gave in this game. And, you know, we've all seen Will be terrific, and he had a couple of spectacular players there at the end that we're used to seeing. But he also had some big buckets. You know, when we came out of a right. timeout, we needed to go to him, and he delivered – uh, he's been a guy that we can count on, and I'm, I'm pleased to have seen all the growth throughout his career, but th that he's playing the way he's playing now um, when I think he ought to be able to, to assert his talent. Thanks a lot, Coach. We'll see you on Saturday versus Northridge. All right, thanks.